Well, good afternoon, YouTubers. And as promised, we're sat on top of Brian's 2020 Sport Glide. A big hunk of American iron. About four years since I last rode a Harley. And it's the old familiar sound, although this is the Milwaukee 8 engine as opposed to the twin cam that I used to uh, ride and It's the familiar burble Potato, potato, potato as they used to say about Harleys So it'll be interesting to see And it's a beautiful afternoon in Southport as we come across the uh, suspension bridge over the Marine Lake and it's a really nice pleasant ride all the uh, familiar vibrations coming through the frame It's a nice ride. Suspension's firm but uh, forgiving. Masses of torque on the old uh, V twin lump. Yes, it's what a place to be on a beautiful sunny afternoon and sat on top of a Harley having a cruise down the South Ports Coast Road. Takes a bit of getting used to after riding the Africa Twin DCT. But nice strong power to pull you away. And uh, yeah, comfortable place to be. Old school, no bells and whistles on this, it's just just pure American iron. Thank you for Brad to Brian for letting me uh, ride his bike. I thought it was quite uh, decent of him since I've been riding the DCT for nearly three months to trust me with his new steed. Yes, there's the familiar power. Hope you can hear me okay. But yeah, it's living the dream. Lovely bike. Rides really well. I think this one's got shower suspension on it if I'm not uh, mistaken. I'm sure somebody will correct me if I'm wrong. But it's non-adjustable on the front and adjustable for preload I think it is at the rear but the ride's really quite nice and it handles really nice yeah good to be back on top of a Harley I do miss them sometimes I miss the old Road King I used to have I used to love that bike but you move on try something different and I'm think I'm uh, setting my ways now as regards adventure bikes but it is nice to ride and I had five Harley Davidsons so I know of which I speak and this it really rides nice it's uh, quite a surprise really the frames lighter than the old soft tail and like I say they've done uh, 
a nice job on the suspension bars are in a nice place fall to hand feet are forward and it runs really well love the old uh, torque as you accelerate Brian's uh, reserve, reserve lights just come on so I better not go too far he has put some uh, little accessories on like the flush mounted fuel caps you just twist and it pops up and he's put uh, different gear change pedal and a brake pedal nice chrome cover on the uh, coil on the side of the bike which you'll see there as I walk round after got his BMW motor rod sat nav mounted on it and this wind, uh, this wind screen is the touring version it gives you enough protection we're chopping along at uh, 50 mile an hour here which is uh, a legal road requirement and it's quite uh, quite a pleasant base to be good wind protection the little furring's doing its job and it purrs along really nice of course you've got the self cancelling indicators one on each side on the Harley which you have to remember as opposed to the Japanese stroke European switch that cancels indicates both sides you've got an individual switch on each side which is really nice so yeah good to be back on a Harley runs really well feels nice, engine feels strong, plenty of torque, we're doing 37, wind it on and it's off like a rocket, really nice. <laughs> so yeah, all the fun of riding Harley Davidson's is coming back, vibrations, the cruising along on a sunny day, what more can you want? This is a nice deep blue with a, like a little metallic glint in it. It really catches the sun, as you will see when you do the walk round after. The brakes don't feel too bad at all. See where it goes like the roundabout. Question B, would I go back to a Harley? Well of course I would, it's a motorcycle. I love riding motorcycles no matter what they are. I've always been a big Harley fan and wearing my Harley leather jacket today and my uh, bullet jeans and I feel like the dog's bees. It's a really fun place to be riding a Harley Davidson.
but you could get the same feeling riding any motorcycle on a day like this but yeah it's nice it really is nice so are you asking me if I would buy a sport glide the answer would have to be yes of course I would it's got nice panniers on it which come standard this screen this fairing is removable you can take it off the forks and just have a naked look about it but it's it's just a great bike it really is a great bike I'm quite surprised at the ride quality and what I do like about Harley Davidson is you have to ride them I mean with some modern bikes you just need to suggest about going round a corner to it and it will go with a Harley you have to ride it into the corner I like that, it's really great fun but yeah it's a great little bike a nice size, it's quite chuckable and it's throbbing along right that's fifth gear still chugging along, oodles of torque I think the engine is 1748cc or 45cc 107 cubic inches Milwaukee 8 gearbox is really nice nice and solid as it, you would expect from a big Harley but it changes really well and uh, clutch is quite light for a cable operated big clutch I think the previous owners fitted adjustable levers on it so you can get the levers in the position you like Ryan and I have similar riding styles and we like the kind of same position on a bike even though I'm quite a bit taller than Brian but we like the same position so it's just like getting on my own bike really when I get on this Try that front brake, yeah that's good stopping for single disc Back brake, yeah I just love that low down rumble Yes, what a bike I'm sure he's reliving his Harley days, Brian. I don't think he'll miss the Kawasaki. He might miss the smoothness of the engine. But this is what Harley Davidsons are about, that big V-twin throb. And again, here we are cruising along 30 mile an hour and it's just great sun's out on a coast road could be on the pacific coast yep I'm getting a bit of bike envy I won't lie wish I could afford two bikes I'd have a Harley and an adventure bike, that would do me yes that reassuring clunk as you put it in gear it's a lovely place to be on the sunny days Southport Sadly, Lord Street, the beautiful shopping centre street we used to have, is losing a lot of uh, shops. So there's a, quite a lot of empty shops on Lord Street. But we're going down the prom here and the people are out having a nice walk in the sunshine. So yeah, great place to ride a Harley.
only been a brief ride but it's been well worth it probably be panicking now make sure I brought it back in the uh, in one piece It was great mate, reliving the past, it's a lovely bike, nice. it rides great, really is nice, and that engine, oodles of power, yeah, yeah. That was nice. really nice, yeah I remember what it was like, sunny day cruising down the coast road, it was lovely, thanks very much. You've just, the lights just come on. But yeah, I mean, it, it, it rides. I mean, the brakes are quite good considering it's single discs. Yeah, really is. And it just like you say, it, it, you get to a corner, it goes around the corner fine. Yeah, it rides as good as any other. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're just leaving the carousel now after spending a pleasant hour in the sunshine talking about motorcycles had a little go on Brian's sports glide bringing back the whole Harley Davidson memories really enjoyed that so like I say if you're new to this channel welcome if you're a new subscriber, thank you for subscribing and I hope you'll stay and enjoy the fun we have riding around the countryside, testing new bikes and having rides, going to visit places. If you can't ride a bike anymore, then why don't you come and join us? So, uh, on Tuesday, the bike's going in for its 8,000 mile service at Blackpool Honda and I'll be taking out the new Africa Twin Adventure Sport DCT of course, just to see how it compares with my 2017 model obviously the engine's larger little more horsepower and the adventure sport is slightly taller so that would be interesting as well so come along and join me on my uh, road test review of the Honda Africa Twin Adventure Sport coming up in the next couple of weeks so this is David from David Swordplay signing off thank you for supporting the channel and I'll catch you on the next one.